Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. So today's video is going to be a reading vlog of reading sad romances for a week. <laughs> suggested this video to me so thank you so much for that suggestion um so i've got a little bit of a lineup of books that i want to read a couple that i've got in mind um i think i'm going to read keeping 13 which is the second one in the boys of tommen series um and then i think i want to read a thousand boy kisses and if he had been with me um i do have like a little life on my radar as well but i think i'm saving that for a different time and i think it's going to be more reading sad romances for a week so thank you so much for that suggestion and we're going to see whether i can get any tears to any of these books and just yeah generally see what's so sad about them and why people rave about them or class them as sad books and that sort of thing i've seen so many people crying about some of these books so yeah i'm very intrigued um i don't really know much about any of them I'm kind of going in blind i've obviously read the first one in the boys of tommen series so it obviously follows on from that but i don't really know too much about what happens um and i literally know nothing about the other two books so <laughs> we're basically just going in blind for this video first book that i'm going to start with is keeping 13 so i hope you guys enjoy and we'll see whether i end up crying <laughs> halfway through keeping 13 and i am enjoying it but i'm not enjoying it as much as binding 13 i just feel like this one is kind of dragging on just a little bit because obviously we had all the drama and stuff going on in the first one and now this one's just dragging on a tiny little bit i feel like things either need to happen or it needs to wrap up <laughs> um i know we're getting more of an insight into some of the other characters like that obviously have their own story so i think it's probably building up to that um, but yeah, I'm literally on page 347. Um, I don't actually know how many pages it are in this, but there was like, let me tell you. Okay, so there's about 800 and, there's 802. So I'm nearly like halfway there, but yeah. I'm going to carry on reading and just see where I get to, but I'm just not enjoying it as much as the first one. Um, I don't know whether it's going to pick up a little bit, but like I am like 300 pages in, so we'll see where we get to and I'll obviously give you more updates. Um, but yeah, just not enjoying it as much as the other one right this second. I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like something needs to happen and it needs to pick back up because it's just like going a little bit too slow for me at the moment. Um, I'm still enjoying the series like overall like the found family aspect of it but I really enjoyed found family and books in general um, so I feel like I enjoyed that aspect of it and learning more about some of the other characters I feel like Johnny and Shannon aren't necessarily at like the forefront of this book I feel like other people's stuff is going on and taking away from their story a little bit um, and considering like they're our main characters but yeah anyway I'm going to carry on reading that now <laughs> So I thought I'd come and give you a bit of an update on the book that I'm reading, which is Keeping 13. So I've been listening to some of it on audiobook today while I've been working. Um, so just kind of wanted to like get this one finished. It's not as like, um, well, it's picked up a little bit, but I still feel like the story is quite slow compared to Binding 13. Um, I am like most of the way through the book now so something quite dramatic has just happened um but compared to like the first book I feel like the story has just been paced a little bit slower in my opinion anyway um but yeah 
I'm still enjoying it, I'm still liking the characters and I think you get an insight into a lot of the other characters in this book as well um, and they're like dropping hints for future books which I'm excited about so I'm going to sit here in my car for the next half an hour and continue reading so I'm going to actually, I bought my book with me and left it in the car so I'm going to read it, actually the book um, while I sit here on my lunch break um, and then I'll continue listening to the story um, when I go back in the office um, for the rest of the day so yeah I'm not feeling too great today I just kind of want to get through my work day and then just go home and read because I'm just yeah I'm like feeling all like bummed up and like my throat's really hurting um, and I went away at the weekend um, and my cousin had COVID so I'm not too sure whether it's COVID or I'm just not feeling great but yeah I just kind of want to like be cozy and warm for a little bit so I've just come in my car put my heated seat on and the heating on um so hopefully that will heat up and I'm just gonna chill in here for a little bit um and read my book <laughs> finishing keeping 13 which did pick up towards the end but i am excited to like carry on the series um especially with like some of the other characters i just want to kind of learn about them especially like joey and Eva's story and um gibsy and claire like that's the one that i really really want to get to um so i am excited to actually carry on that but yeah i ended up giving it um i ended up giving it like four stars so i think the first one i gave like 4.5 or something um so i still liked it but not as much as the first one I'm just thinking some places were a little bit slow um but still enjoyed it um but yeah i didn't cry <laughs> i know that sounds ridiculous because loads of people cried and there were some scenes that were like really dramatic and really upsetting but yeah i just didn't cry to be honest i listened to a lot of it on audio and i think because i was at work I was not fully immersed in the story if that makes sense like during the sad parts so maybe if I was reading it I probably would have been a little bit more upset um but yeah I still really enjoyed it but that's our first book completed for this video and the next book I'm going to be reading is A Thousand Boy Kisses which I've heard is very very sad so we'll see how that one goes I don't know anything about the book at all um so we're just going to go into it blind and yeah see how it goes <laughs> on and unpacked it because I didn't think I'd have time to read and then I have had time but I've just been reading it on my phone on the Kindle app um but I'm like halfway-ish through to be honest I feel like if I had read this book at the start of my reading journey I probably would have enjoyed it more than I do now because I feel like some of the books that I read now just I don't know like the writing almost feels like I don't want to say the word immature but like compared to books that I now read like I feel like yeah that that kind of vibe it's just not the sort of writing and stuff that I would read now um so yeah I'm just not as enjoying it as much and I'm just not connecting to the characters that much to be honest I feel like I'm feeling like I'm skimming a lot of the book and just not really in enjoying it that much which I must I'm I wouldn't say ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Of <laughs> I'm a bit sad because obviously so many people love this book and obviously it's meant to be really, really sad, which the storyline and stuff, it is sad, but I think because I'm not connected to the characters, I'm just not finding it that sad. Um, obviously it is a sad story, but I haven't like cried or anything is what I mean. Um, and I think that's purely because I'm just not connecting to the characters that much. Um, but yeah, I'm going to carry on reading and I'll obviously give you an update like towards the end or whatever um but yeah i do want to finish it because i want to see how it ends how everything's wrapped up what happens with the characters and, and stuff um and i'll obviously give you an update on my thoughts and, and stuff like that but yeah i'm just not, as in, not enjoying it as much as i thought i would um and it's just yeah i haven't cried <laughs> i haven't cried yet so yeah but i've literally just been reading 
it mostly on my phone throughout the weekend um i do think i'm probably going to finish it this weekend to be honest and then i can focus on other books with a video um but yeah i just don't i don't really connect it to the book that much which is a shame because i did think that i would enjoy it more than i am um which is really sad considering it's such a popular book but yeah let me know if you've read this book actually and, and whether you felt the same where in your reading journey you read it so i think because now i read more fantasy literary fiction books this now feels like i say i don't want to use the word immature but i can't think of a better word for it but in terms of the writing style um whereas obviously like the literary fiction and fantasies that i read are really thought out writing really intricate details and stuff so i think that is what is lacking or what i feel is lacking in the book compared to the other books that i read but i feel like if i read this earlier on in my reading journey i probably would have felt differently about it if that makes sense um but yeah, i'm gonna carry on reading and I'll give you some thoughts towards the end or if i have any updates or anything <laughs> weekend and i actually finished this book last night while i was reading it on my phone um i'm a bit sad to say that like it's not my favorite book to be honest i'm gonna give it like three stars i just feel like the writing style just didn't suit the style of writing that i like to read um i was intrigued by the ending to be honest i probably am gonna read the next one but i think i'll just read it on my kindle instead of actually buying the book um so yeah i wasn't like I was not like, super super invested in the story um it was sad like don't get me wrong I do understand that it was sad I didn't shed a tear though <laughs> so it was definitely a sad story but I just didn't cry at it um and yeah I feel like it's because I wasn't super connected to the characters which I mentioned in my last update so I do feel like that's probably the cause of that um but yeah I wasn't super duper intrigued or like invested in the story that's probably the right word wasn't super invested in it so i think i'm just going to give it three stars um but the next and the last book that i'm going to read for this video is if he had been with me which i have heard is really really sad and i've seen a couple of um booktubers like crying when they read it so we'll see whether that one makes me shed a tear um but yeah that's going to be our next and final book for this video <laughs> Um, if he had been with me last night um i'm now on page 127 um so i've made a like decent dent in it i kind of want to see how much i get through today um like on my lunch break and stuff um so we'll see how much i get through like this much left so i've read um like say 120 well i'm on page 127 um at first i didn't really like the style of writing so it was very like choppy like <coughs> like he did this and then they did this and then they went to here and so and so did this but when you carry on reading it makes sense for the story to be honest and i think because it is a ya like that style of writing does make more sense um and it makes the story go a lot quicker and i just feel like you get enough insight into scenes and characters that you don't really need that depth for this particular story i don't feel um but i am really enjoying it so if you don't know what this book is about it's about autumn and finney and it kind of on the first page alludes to something that's going to happen towards the end um which i know that the ending is meant to be really really sad and that's where people cry because throughout the story it's not too sad to be honest um at least i haven't really come across any ridiculously sad parts yet um so it alludes to something that's going to happen later in the story um but then you kind of follow it's from autumn's perspective so you kind of follow autumn and finney throughout um 
like their life and stuff so they've been like childhood friends their mums were both pregnant at the same time they're best friends so then obviously the children were best friends when they were younger and then just through like growing up and stuff they kind of grew apart became parts of different friendship groups and stuff but they still lived next door to each other so you kind of follow in autumn's perspective her and finney's relationship and just how they're navigating that and how they're navigating being in different friendship groups and stuff so they're not together um but they're both dating like different people and stuff so just yeah that, like how they're dealing with that sort of stuff um but yeah i'm enjoying it so far like i say it is really quick paced i read like a hundred ish pages yesterday and then this morning i read like a couple of pages like 20 ish pages um so I am enjoying it. It's just going really, really quick, um, which is obviously good. So yeah, I'll come back with some updates on how I'm feeling. But yeah, originally I didn't like the writing style, but I understand why it's written in that way now. And I do think it, it gives you enough detail to understand the characters without having to go in like massive, massive depth about it. Um, so it just makes sense for this story. So yeah, enjoying it. Um, and we'll see whether this one makes me cry because the last two have not made me cry. And I'm not a heartless person because I cry at so much stuff, so I don't know what's going on. I just haven't cried yet, so yeah, we'll see whether I cry for this one. So I thought I'd give you a little update on where I am with this book. Um, so I'm now on page 246, so I think there's about two, no, 390-ish pages in here, so just under 400 pages. Um, so I think, is that over halfway? Yeah, that's over halfway. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got like this much left. So I'm going to carry on reading that. I did want to finish it today. I feel like I'm now on a roll with it. And like I said in the beginning, like I wasn't sure about the writing style with it being like so choppy. Um, but it has made the book go really, really quick. It makes sense for this story and it, you're still getting enough insight and stuff into the book. I'm still really enjoying it. I am a little bit nervous about the end because I feel like I'm just, I feel like I might be upset. I don't know if I'm going to cry, but we'll, we'll see obviously when we get there. Um, I'll try and film my reaction when I get to that point in the book um which i think is literally like right at the end um but i am very much enjoying it so far and yeah i don't i don't want to give like too much of an insight into like the story and stuff until the very very end um because to be honest the rest of the story is kind of just autumn and finney just going about their day-to-day -day lives with school and stuff and things happening with their family obviously it's in autumn's point of view she's mostly autumn going through things and her thoughts on certain situations with her friends and stuff like that so there isn't too much actually going on plot wise there's like a little stuff kind of going on in the background um but there's not too much going on actual plot wise so i think the ending is like the most drastic thing or the most plot heavy thing that happens and um, to be honest but it's not like boring even though there's not a lot of stuff going on to be honest it's still quite like interesting or just fast paced to read i don't feel like i'm getting bored with the story um so yeah but i am highly anticipating the ending so i'm just going to carry on reading now and we'll see where we get to um and then obviously i'll give you an update at the end and try and capture my reaction of reading the end um but yeah i'm going to try and finish this today because i have like just over 100 pages to go so about 150 ish pages to go um, so I feel like that's very much doable, especially just with how the writing is. Like, it's just so quick paced because it's like, we're doing this, this happens, and then it's on to like a next scene. Um, so it is very, very quick.
actually so sad but I'm a little bit confused because the second book Big Brother Haven Finney's point of view about stuff that happened after the event so I'm a little bit confused because of what I've just read <clears throat> I didn't actually cry I did well up but no tears actually came out of my eyes um so but that actually was really sad to do understand why people are literally sobbing i've cried at a single book in this video what is going on i i don't know how i haven't cried at a single book because this was literally reading sad books for a week and i feel like i probably should have cried at least once but i did very much need to cry then but i think because it was so short like it's literally the last 10 ish pages when something happens that is obviously sad um so i feel like what's the word like i feel like if it was a little bit longer then i probably would have cried more if that makes sense i did really really enjoy that book and i can see the hype i did think it was gonna be more like i didn't think the writing style was gonna be like that but as i said in my previous clips that it makes sense and it makes the story go a lot quicker i do think i will be reading the next one because i am really intrigued to know what happened and the fact that it's finney's point of view i am confused on um but yeah so that is actually our last book for the video um i hope you guys enjoyed i didn't shed a single tear <laughs> um I did definitely well up when reading this book. I did feel more connected to these characters, um, like compared to the other books, especially compared to A Thousand Boy Kisses, because I just re didn't really feel connected to those characters whatsoever. Um, but definitely felt connected to these characters. And like I said, I do definitely want to read the next one. I'm probably going to pick up the book as well. I'm planning on going book shopping um, next week, actually, because I'm planning on going to London for a day next week. So. I want to go to the Piccadilly Waterstones and I'm planning on picking up the next book um, of this. Well, I wanted to pick up um, Phantasma because that's my book club's book of the month next month. Um, but I also think I'm probably going to pick up the next one of this if they have it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> let me know whether you've read any of these books and how you felt about them. And if you cried, it was obviously very sad this one was very very sad um binding 13 or like that whole the boys of tom and series i've not cried once when reading those books yet it is obviously very sad but i just don't feel emotionally i can't think of the word but like i don't feel like i'm gonna cry when i read them um but it's definitely they are definitely sad books but yeah this one was the saddest i feel so let me know if you've read any of these books and if there's any other sad books you want me to read to do a second part of this video to see if i can actually cry at a book i don't really cry at books that often to be honest i did cry at the invisible life of Ali larue um and i am planning on reading a little life which i feel that is such a long book and the sad part throughout like it's not just a sad ending um so i feel like maybe that might trigger some emotion um but yeah let me know if there's any books you want me to read for that video or just any video in general um because yeah uh, this video is actually like suggested to me by a subscriber um so thank you for that suggestion so yeah if let me know if you have any video ideas or anything but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in another one super super soon